Makalipas ang apat na pung taon, nakabili na ang Philippine National Railways ng mga bagong tren na unang dumating ang anim na brand new diesel multiple unit o DMU trains na binili sa bansang Indonesia. Pinangunahan ito ni Department of Transportation or DOTR Secretary Arturo Tugade at Philippine National Railways or PNR General Manager June Magno sa arrival ceremony nito, ikalabing isa ng Disyembre, Merkules na ginanap sa South Harbor, Manila. And today, we are bearing witness to that reality and that request that we should modernize the equipment. Today, we will be accepting formally the delivery of two trains with uh, three coaches each, a total of six. But that is not the end. By January of next year, we are expecting to have a total of 40 operating coaches all in all, to be able to service the requirements of this funded route from 17 to 36. But does it mean we will start at 36? No, in general, last in and June Magma, they will not start at 36. And so it finds time, reason and right and reason, to increase the capacity by adding trains. And therefore, to June Magma, to Chairman last in to the men and women of TMR, accept my gratitude and congratulations to you. Ang pagdating ng mga bagong couches ay bahagi ng 37 rail cars na may tinatayang 3.8 billion pesos na halaga. Ayon kay PNRGM June Magno, ang anim na DMU trains ay may rutang De La Rosa at Tutuban FTI na magiging operational sa December 16 kasabay ng inaugural run nito. Sinabi pa ni Magno, Kung sakaling maging operational na, walo hanggang sampung biyay kada araw ang madadagdag sa serbisyo ng PNR. At halos 750 hanggang 800 na mga pasahero sa couches ang kaya nito. We're only, when we came in, we're only serving around 20-25. Um, we want to increase that ngayon, around 70, but we really want to reach 120-150 man lang. Diba? Uh, nasa mercy kami ng Congress, General Appropriations Act, kung dadagdagan pa nila yung capacity namin to reach the 200 and 250. So yun yun. And, and to think, Kami yung pinakamura na mode of transport. Uh, we're even cheaper than tricycle. We're 1 peso 7 cents per kilometer lang. Pinasalamatan naman ni DOTR Secretary Tugade si PNR General Magno dahil sa seryosong serbisyo nito at magandang pamamalakad sa Philippine National Railways kung saan sa matagal na panahon, ngayon lang aniya nakabili ang PNR na mga brand new na tren sa termino ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte. Iginiit ni Tugade, sa taong 2020 hanggang 2021 ay tuloy-tuloy na ang serbisyo ng Bicol Express kung saan ang biyay nito ay mula Kalamba hanggang Sorsogon. Tama mo si Jun Magno. Sinabi na, noong panahon ng Congress, ang populasyon ng railway station natin ay dalawang libo, more than 2,000 kilometers. When we assume the total kilometers of the railway station in the Republic of the Philippines is barely 77 kilometers. While other countries in this domain have increased and improved on their population of railways, tired of doing it. And therefore, right now what we are trying to do is to achieve a working ideal number of kilometers so that we can achieve the objective of President Duterte in wanting and wishing to give the Filipino life a comfortable life. And so today, PNR, as we speak, we are not just accepting these two coaches, these two train sets with six coaches. We are not just funding stations, but let me tell you this. By 2021, June Magno, we will have partial availability of what I term as the big old railways from Kalamba to Legaspi. We hope that this will be operational, partly operational by the end of 2021. Not being satisfied with that, right now, can I still speak, we are doing constructions at the Malolos uh, terminal stations where we hope that part of that 
portion from the Tuban to Clark. The Malolos portion will be operational also before the end of the term of the president. In other words, what we are doing in Ray is that we are trying to expand not only the coverage, but more importantly, we are trying to improve. We are trying to improve what we call the equipment and the facilities needed to make a smooth mobility and connectivity of our six people. The icing of the cake, in so far as the rail sector is concerned. By this month, by this month, we shall be uh, mobilizing the start of the construction of the Manila subway. Samantala, inaasahan pa ang pagdating ng apat pang set ng tren sa buwan ng January 2020. Mula dito sa Manila, Eren Florarita, Beach TV News. Welcome to a new mobile experience that gives you priority on the Philippines' fastest LTE network awarded by UCLA. Now you get more data for your digital lifestyle and control to manage your account. This is Postpaid that gives you priority, the new Smart Signature. This is Postpaid Reimagined, Smart Signature.